Morning comes and our skimmer buddies are once again trying to leave Shobatai behind. Viper Bronco and Peggy, they might have met um, not the best fate on their last trip, but now they're ready to go out there again and hopefully this time around there's not going to be any sand ninjas to cross their paths. You know, they have some skimmers to keep them company, they have some skimmers to train their strength and athletics. But of course, if you are, if you're running slowly, then you never know who's gonna catch up to you, and eventually, you might want to drop that skimmer. So, you guys should be walking together, not like this. And yes, we are leaving Shobatai, going down south, going back to see how Phobos is doing. He still has 118 hours to go, so a lot of time there, a lot of time. So what I'm gonna try to do is we have a research for a strength bench so if I could actually build a strength bench in our home uh, that is from one of the mods of course we could have we could have Phobos training on the strength there so there is that there's a dead starving vagrant poor guy and if you could do that uh, at least he's gonna not be completely useless as he's just staying at home so that's what I'm gonna try to do uh, of course we're gonna need a lot more money that we currently have to make that a reality but um, you never know there might be bandits outside of the gates again that we can go ahead and loot fight and yeah maybe recruit one or two again that would be amazing so there's this town there's the slaves over here we could go out here and sneak around at night and try to free a slave or two I think that's something we might actually attempt uh, not quite yet though. Uh, first things first, I'm gonna go home. Uh, I think we can buy stuff over here or sell. Yeah, there's a bar, but I think it's like just a bar for slavers. There's nothing actually useful in there, which is which is okay. Over here we have a fight between slave hunters and tech hunters, I believe. Which I like the idea of. I'm gonna go see how this is gonna pan out and we might pick up a person or two yeah of course the tech hunters just demolished them the reason why the slavers were attacking them is because one of the tech hunters actually has a bounty on them so there was that <clears throat> now I don't want to bring uh, pick up slave hunters and bring them in there because it's probably gonna be a bad thing Ooh, look at that these guys I thought this might be slaver uniform but it's not so we could actually pick up a thing or two over here if there's anything like really useful of course this is all stealing if they had something better than just shoddy grade I would maybe love to pick that up but so far it doesn't look like it don't necessarily want to steal from these guys don't loot the skimmer hmm yeah it's not the greatest Let's take it though. They're not gonna be too happy. But we're gonna take them because we can at least sell some of the stuff, you know? At least some of it can be sold and we can make some money. And now we have constructed that weight bench. You can you can see you can level strengths go up to 59, but in fact it's not gonna be that easy. It's actually gonna be extremely slow. You can get up to like 20s and 30s maybe but after that it just slows down so much that it's not actually viable but Phobos at least has something to do since he's not gonna be leaving this place anyway so he can level his strength up a bit yes you could say that this might be a bit well cheaty due to the the way this works but I you know it's a mod I kind of like the way it actually is and I don't mind it that much so I'll keep it. I'll keep it. It's my first time actually using it. So, yeah. The Viper uh, is doing things over here with the campfire. There you go, cooking some meat. Uh, we might have some meat in one of these. Yeah, there's one more over here. So, you can go cook that as well. So, we're going to have some extra meat. It's better than nothing. We do have a Empire Ninja guarding our uh, gate over here. That's interesting. You keep on guarding that. Now Viper and Peggy are gonna just uh, 
be training their strength the good old way by carrying way too much and running around and well the goal here is to once again hopefully see if we can capture anyone that might be fighting outside that's what we're gonna be looking for an opportunity once again there's triangle bandits over here you wanna attack them For some reason my guys don't wanna attack them can you attack the target there you go yeah, pull this guy away and then go fight him. The rest are probably gonna join up. I can't even see. <laughs> it's just so, so foggy. Oh, they're not joining up. Okay, that's cool if you can just fight one-on-one. So what's your staying here, right? Being passive? Yeah, that's good. Yeah, I'd gladly fight one-on-one -on -one with uh, you. If you can train our skills a bit, that's just great. Sure, he hit us a bit, but... Uh, this is the way to go. Leveling our str Ooh, got him. Awesome. Uh, definitely gonna take his stuff as well. Ooh, a standard grade long coat. Don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do. We're taking your hat as well. Now, I'm not gonna be capturing them because the last time, the last guy we captured didn't actually want to join us. I think these guys are... Yeah, they're gonna be attacking these fools. So you know what I'm gonna do? Uh, Viper. Actually, Peggy. You just go out here, fight these guys. Viper. Um, you're gonna actually pick him up. Yeah. Go pick him up. Don't loot the skimmer, man. <laughs> pick up the bandit. And go help Peggy. There you go. They don't want to attack all for some reason. Go fight this fool then. There you go. Now our goal here is to loot these guys, make some money, uh, loot them before, loot them before these guys can take them away. That would be the greatest thing. All right, that one is down. Okay, Viper, pick his stuff up. The rest is shoddy, so we don't care that much. Okay, Viper. Tag this guy, Peggy. You're gonna go loot there. Quickly. That's the spirit. And this is the way we can uh, make some much needed money around here. We can even take this shoddy thing, we can sell it. It's not perfect, but we can sell it. Alright, go fight this big boy. We need his stick. Come on. Before they take him away. Good stuff. Good. Yeah. Uh, we can take some of the stuff that's not so bad. I don't think we can take the hat. That's okay. It doesn't sell for that much. Alright, you see? It's much better. In fact, what about if Peggy picks up another uh, bandit? Let's uh, put down this thing. And go pick up this bandit. We can fight them. You know? We can, we can use them as our fighting boys. I like the idea of that. Looks like the skimmers are invading the town. Well, they didn't get far. <laughs> but that's an opportunity for us, once again. Uh, just to make some cats. Because I've, I've been talking to people in bars, and they all want 6,000, 5,000, all that crazy amount that we really can't afford right now. Well, it's not crazy amount per se, but uh, when you are just a starting character like that, you're kind of looking for those that might be like 3,000, you know. Sure, they might have no skills, but uh, we can always skill them up. Just look at Mr. Phobos. He's uh, he's definitely leveling up his uh, strength skill right now, for damn sure. Uh, he is up to 23 already, so pretty strong. Pretty, pretty strong. Viper, where are you going? Oh, they're ditching resources. Probably ditching meat, and that's okay. Just uh, make sure to close the doors behind you. It's very important that you do that. Now say hello to our new little friend. We got ourselves Lucian, who just joined us. Let's see. He has 5 strength. He has 5 in all of his skills. 6 is melee combat, 5 in defense, 10 athletics, and he has some engineer in those skills. He started with a topper. It's not too bad, and he has just some ranked pants. So we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to train the big boy up. He's a Hiver soldier, 
Uh, same as Phobos is. Also, why is this door? Oh my god. Get out, you <laughs> bastard. Left the doors open. Someone at least left the doors open. Oh well. So yeah, we spent a bunch of money and got ourselves Lucian. Who just join us and uh, yeah, we're gonna give him some armor. We're gonna give him some pants. And that's about it. Uh, he can have some uh, med stuff and he's gonna become a medic for us. So let's see how Lucian looks. He's, uh, he's definitely a fighter. How good of a fighter he is? I don't know. We're gonna, we're gonna test him out. We're gonna definitely test him out. Um, let's see. Peggy. I think Viper has quite a strength right now. I think Lucian is gonna have to uh, start leveling his strength up. But the best way to do that maybe is to smack one of these guys around. Yeah, we apparently see we can't we can't fight these guys, which is unfortunate. Viper and Peggy. You guys be passive and hold up there. Right? And then Lucian is gonna go out here. This is gonna unlock this prisoner cage. Actually no, he's just gonna set this guy free. And then he's gonna fight him. Let's see how you do. Let's see how you do, Lucian. Wow, he's getting smacked around. Oh my god. <laughs> he's getting kicked around. Now, of course, the, the weapon he has, Topper, is really not suitable for uh, indoor stuff. Wow, he's just getting kicked in the chest constantly. We might need Viper down here for extra help. Because Lucian might just fall. <laughs> Lucian might just get completely wrecked. Yep, Lucian's down. Alright, Viper. Take care of this guy. Oh, Lucian's getting back up. Good job, buddy. I leveled up his toughness at least a bit. Get back into the fray, man. Get back into the fray. Show them how it's done. Alright, you healing yourself? Good job. Uh, Viper? Uh, let's pick this guy up. Let's get him in here, into the cage. Let's put him in the cage. And you can, you can heal him. If you want to. If you want to. First date. Oh, you don't have a meth kit? Dude, why don't you say so? Well, that didn't go quite that well, but it's okay. 29 strength on Phobos. Don't mind if I do. There you go, you get yourself some med kits, man. That's good. Uh, we need to actually go buy better med kits, I think. Oh, uh, look at that. He leveled his uh, melee defense, so that's actually really solid. Get off of that. Viper, let's kidnap that thing. I don't know why it's kidnapping, but hey. Let's set this guy free. And you can fight him. You can fight him. Oh, Lucian is getting back into it. Good job, Lucian, my boy. Oh, that guy's down. That was fast. That was really fast. Well, the others have been working outside, training their strength, or just running around, find, trying to find loot. Lucian was actually busy capturing new people. He has captured two star vagrants and he wants to recruit them to the squad. Thinks they would be a good addition. Would they? Well, only time will tell, but for now that is his goal. And yeah, he needs some time before they uh, can speak to him, but once they will uh, he's getting ready for it. Also, he's gonna try to fight the triangle bandit again and he's thinking that maybe his boy Phobos might have a better weapon, more suitable for that. Also, you might need some more of those goggles for my people. It could be very useful. So let's see, Lucian, take two. Oh, we can talk to the triangle. We can talk to them. Mm, no, we can loot them. Ah, uh, yeah, let's take their hat. Might as well take their pants. Might as well take their shirt. All right, we're gonna set them free, and we're gonna fight them. Let's see if we can fight them better with that uh, axe. Oh, I guess we're gonna have some help. I guess we're gonna have a lot of help. <laughs> oh boy. They really do not like this guy, do they? Oh, thank you. Thank you for doing that for me. 
think we're gonna go just sell him to the slavers. If we can't recruit him, sell them. It's what they used to say. It seems like some manhunters are committing crimes around here. And Viper, Bronco and Peggy are ready to join in on the fray. They've been just mining over here and grabbing some iron. Uh, do I want to help them? I don't think so. I'll let them be. Let them get smacked. I don't want to... Uh, I don't want them to think that I'm uh, not a nice person. And the manhunters don't really have that much good stuff anyway. They might be stealing if I take it from them, so... I'm just gonna, just gonna chill around here. Hmm. Oh, they might need some help. Viper? Help over here. Yeah, Peggy, you can also help. Help with these, uh, man-hunting beasts. Do it. Are you gonna do well? I don't know. Viper certainly is doing well. Good job, buddy. Now, okay, this unfortunately is all faction uniform. I'm gonna take your first aid kit. I'm gonna take that. And the rest, yeah, you can keep. Come on, Viper. You can go help. Now, yeah, I've been uh, mining iron just so I can level these two on some strength while they run around. Is it good? I don't know if it's, uh, it's exactly, you know, the best thing. But there seem to be a lot of fighting going on. A lot of fighting, actually. And, well, why not picking up some stuff? Yeah, this is faction uniform, so don't want it. Oh, look at that smack from Viper. It's pretty good. Now, we could maybe pick up one of the Manhunters and throw it in one of our cages. That's not the worst idea. I don't know how the guards will react now. But I can try. Maybe we can recruit a Manhunter or two. You know? Wouldn't be all that wrong. Peggy? Go pick up this man hunter, and let's see what the, the guys at the gates will say when we bring them in. So say hello to Nuke, who is pretty much the skinniest, smallest shack that we've ever seen. <laughs> Poor guy. But, yeah, he's hungry. He's gonna have to eat something. Go check over here, my friend. There you go. Look at that, you can eat that. We might not have much food, but we do have some, and we also need to get you some gear, buddy might not uh, like running around naked. Gear? Do we have any? Not much, but we have some for him, at least, so he's not gonna be completely naked. And I believe Lucian can trade him some stuff as well. Uh, Peggy and Viper are coming, right? Peggy got stuck. That's great. Peggy get in here. You actually have some better loot for uh, Nuke, possibly. Oh, we do have some of these. They're shoddy, but still better than that. And as for a weapon, we don't have anything really good right now. We can give you a blunt weapon, maybe. You can go out with that, my friend. And uh, we do need to give you some healing stuff. There you go. It's better than nothing, my friend, Nuke. Better than nothing. You can go rest now. There ain't no rest for the wicked, but there is rest for you. Viper is here, ate some food, and Peggy, she's bringing in a new prisoner, put him into the cage, let's go. She's very slow, to the, all of the iron that we have, we go. we're gonna, we're gonna heal him up, she's gonna go eat, and we should have some more meat over here. So the guy that we captured over here is actually a cruel manhunter, and he has a 4,000 cats bounty with shinobi thieves and anti-slavers. That could be quite a lot of money, but he could also join us. Let's see what Lucian is gonna say to him. Okay, I think we might actually cash you in, buddy. I don't think you will want to join us. I can bring you to Shinobi Thieves. Of course, Shinobi Thieves are not around here. They are not in Stoat. So we're gonna have to go either to Haft or Shobatai. And it might be time we go travel again. It might be time, and we might want to take Nuke with us, just so he can uh, level up a bit. But yeah, we might go and uh, get this this cruel guy out of here, because talking to yeah, talking to this cruel manhunter is not gonna do much. We can loot them though. No, maybe not. We should be able to. 
There you go. I'm gonna take that from you. I might committing crime. Ooh. All right. They have a faction uniform as well. A red samurai armor. I like the idea of it. I don't want to like have a faction uniform on us. I'm gonna take your weapon though. You don't deserve that. I don't want to fight him either. Uh, yeah, we're gonna see if we can bring him to Shinobi Thieves next. That wouldn't be too bad. And once again, we are on the road. This time, a group of four. We are carrying that very, very bad manhunter. We are gonna carry it to the next town over and cash in for the bounty on its head. On her head, I should say. But maybe it's is also fitting over here for what a beast they are. A cruel manhunter. So yeah, we have uh, Nuke and Lucian on our first trip around here, while Phobos still sa stays behind and just works on that bounty of his. He got his strength up to 42 now though, and uh, he's probably gonna keep on working on that one for quite a while since, you know, he is still wanted dead or alive for 69 hours of course it's 69 why wouldn't it be the road was uneventful besides the fact that my game crashed like three times trying to approach heft which means first we lost our skimmer because he was dead after i reloaded and then secondly i actually went and removed one of the mods that adds all those mercenaries which means i had to import the game which means we also lost our prisoner so, fun times, <laughs> but we at least have made it to half now, at least the game now works. Yes, the game actually crashed three times when we approached the half. Basically, as I got like up here to the gates, it would crash. And uh, my idea was that it was probably crashing due to the fact that we had those mercenaries. Remember when we were in here before and it was like a huge, huge group of mercenaries just chilling around. I think that might have being an issue and uh, yeah I went and uh, just got rid of that mod and well <clears throat> we now don't get the 4,000 cats that we wanted to get but that's okay we, we made it here we can at least do something about that like maybe trade with this guy let's go up here boys and let's get trading thank you uh, let's let's trade now finally they have the small backpacks that is something I wanted for quite a while they do have the nice kimonos and the leather uh, armor that is mediocre black which means it gets some extra stealth effect Ooh, that could be really good and really nice to have actually but we only have so much money you see ninja regs would be really nice as well, but they are too expensive right now for me, fortunately. I might actually sell Nuke's, Nuke's stuff. It's like, we, we wouldn't get much money anyway, so who cares. And we're gonna buy him those black armor. I think that's gonna work extremely well on him. Now, if we can make some more money, we can buy the small backpacks over here, which I would really like. Yeah, shoddy pants, huh? We used to have many nice pants. I guess I sold most of them, which is okay. Let's see how Nuke actually looks now. Damn good, I'd say. He's more stealthy in that, which is really nice. Uh, let's get everybody over here. So, Nuke, uh, your stats are pretty good, so you don't really need to work on anything over here, unfortunately. Yeah, nobody is stealthy is not so good but oh well so yeah we made it over here uh, while uh, Phobos is just staying home and trying to well skill up slowly what we are gonna do is gonna go and uh, buy some food because that's what we need uh, I do need to check uh, probably my prisoners also disappeared uh, due to me having to import the game which is unfortunate but it is the way it is right what can you do Thank you, would like to buy some food. Everybody's starving these days. Oh no, Peggy does have some food on her. Well, that's great then. Here you go. Bought just enough food to survive. And that's all of our money gone now. Those 4,000 cats? Yeah. How about that? 
Ah, uh, there's the belt trader. Yeah, I would like to make some money so we can buy the dust goggles and then just put the goggles on everybody around here. And uh, they would be able to go through the desert easily. That's something I really want to have on everybody. And then we don't really need to carry or use uh, the kimonos. Due to the fact that I'm using these ones because they give 80% dust storm protection. Plus the ninja mask, it's 120. So, you know, she has no problems with dust storm. While Nuke and Lucian do have those problems. So, yeah. It'd be really nice if you can get them. So this might not be the smartest idea. But the skeleton doctor over here, he's looking in the other direction. And we are hidden. I... I just can't not to attempt this. We have a whole night to do it. It's midnight right now. Exactly midnight, interestingly enough. And I know we're committing a crime, but we're gonna attempt to do this. So, we now have a problem. He moved. <laughs> he moved. And we have a 55% chance to steal this. Which is far from great. Very, very far from great. Now, what I would like to do... He doesn't see Nuke, which is interesting. What's the chances that you take this? Oh, Nuke? Okay. He stole that. Okay, Nuke, you know what? Just stay still until your committing crime goes away. Good. Now just get out of here. Or go, go into Shinobi Thieves. Just go to Shinobi Thieves, man. Up there. It's gonna be just alright. Get Nuke out there. Let's see if you can maybe take something else. Like Viper? I, I want Viper to try the last of them. If I can take just a couple of these things... I'm happy. Okay. Let's wait for him to get his committing crime away. Awesome. Alright, okay, these capacitors are not really worth much, but these things are. Alright, you too, Lucian. Just uh, make your way over here. We have done it. Oh my god. We have done it. Please, get the crime out of here. Awesome. Yo, we <laughs> gotta, gotta try more. <laughs> Can't not try, you see. Uh, Peggy, what are your chances? Uh, much lesser. Let's trade. Let's give this to her. And Peggy, just make your way away from here as well. Get out there. I'm gonna... No, don't go into a cage. Just go out there. I'm gonna wait for these three guys to get away from here before I attempt more stealing stuff. Alright, they should be far enough away. Let's see if you can steal something else. Oh my god. Now, do I steal another arm? Or do I go for a skeleton repair kit? That's a good question. We might have more... Uh, we might get more out of this. Let's see. Crap. Alright, got caught. Uh, stop sneaking. Just run out there, Viper. These three guys... Shouldn't have a problem, right? Just just run away, man. Um, right now, nobody sees you, actually. Let's see if you can keep it that way. And your committing crime is going to go away. Let's see if you can sneak away from that guy. The committing crime goes off. We are good before the guard sees us. Let's see. 3, 2, 1. Let's go! We've done it! Alright, Viper. I don't think he's gonna attack you now. He's gonna. <laughs> Alright. I wonder... I wonder if we can get... The guards... To help us if this guy assaults us. That would be the best. As he runs away... We could get... Like Peggy or someone... Into the shop. And just steal stuff. Because it should be easy. Let's get both of you. You, you. Stop sneaking. Get in here. And we're gonna have Viper kite this guy. <laughs> Go ahead, Viper. Kite this guy. 
Oh, he stopped. No, he's coming. He's confused. He's still trying to assault us. But he's stuck out there. Oh, let's see if we can... Uh, if you can get back inside with him as well and steal more stuff. It would be amazing. Because I think the stealing chance should be really easy while he is in there. He's out there. Okay, let's let's check that. Ah, it's actually lower. Why? He is far away. Hmm. Viper. Close this door. Yes! 100% chance. Oh, let's go. Oh, let's go. Oh, let's go. <laughs> okay. High grade arms. Yes, please. This is not right what we're doing. I was going to say. This is not right what we're doing. Alright, I'm going to even steal your book. Okay, Viper, get out of here, man. Get out of here, man. And, um,. Let's go in here. Yeah. Let's go in here. We can sell things to thieves. And we have uh, these two bastards coming in here just to take what is there left. Oh, he's coming back. So quickly, close the door. Good. Good. You have a 100% chance. Take that shoddy arm. Take this. You take that. Wait for the committing crime to go away. Open the door. Actually, there's probably something else you can pick. Don't open the door. Close the door. There's another skeleton muscle in there. Um. You wanna pick it up? Come on, please. All right, he took it. <gasps> He's just coming right now. Oh no! We're no longer committing crime. <laughs> oh, get out of here. Oh, let's get out of here. Someone's fighting over here. I just start vagrants. It's five in the morning. We've done our thing. There's a lot of uh, starring vagrants fighting out here. Damn. All right, but we made some money. Now, I'm pretty sure we can't sell it in this town, but we're gonna be able to sell it in the next one, which is all good with me. All right, so I'm gonna finish the episode here. Uh, that was a uh, well done heist, I would say. Got ourselves a new uh, arm for our friend. Which is just absolutely amazing. And uh, these four fools are gonna now run out of here. Oh, look at that. I need to go... I need to go loot this thing. Just to see how much stuff we can get out of that. Go loot it. Someone. Ah, just meat? That's not the best. Thought there might be more useful stuff, but clearly it's not. Clearly it is not. Alright, well I'm gonna finish the episode here for now. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you enjoyed our little thieves run. We gotta be making uh, quite a lot of money next time as we cash in this uh, resources. But for now, thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please consider your dropping comment down below. If you like, subscribe and see more Do Magic. I'll see you next time. Cook out.